Howdy. I am back from New York City in Toronto. I was running around to different franchise events and I'm super energized to have made some great new connections. Um, just hearing uh, people, different franchise industry leaders, uh, saying the things that I've heard before and know, but just to be refreshed on all that information is, is always super inspiring and energizing. And, and now I'm excited to share that with you um, as we go forward in our potential working relationship. So as you may know, I often end up working with early and emerging franchisors. And one of the things that I find people have a hard time wrapping their head around is that when you become a franchisor, you're essentially starting a new business. So that is actually my exponential growth tip for today, is that when you become a franchisor, when you have a small business and you decide that you want to use franchising to expand it, you're really going to be running two businesses. You're starting this new business, you've got still this business running that, let's say it's a cupcake company for example, so you're selling cupcakes, you know, in a little, maybe a little bakery style um, retail storefront, and now you're going to go look for franchisees. Well, that's a separate business. Your costs and all your efforts are going to be coming out of this separate business. So you probably have heard the lingo B2C and B2B. So here you've got your B2C or your business to consumer or business to customer. And here you've got your business to business. So in this part, you're still selling the cupcakes. You're still marketing towards the end user. You're trying to get people to love your brand and be loyal consumers and end users of your brand. The marketing on this side, in this part of the business, now becomes more about marketing to attract prospective franchisees and also some um, overall growth for the company. Another example is, uh, you know, you have to stay innovative in your B2C for your, for your end user, you know, maybe creating new recipes or um, new products. But in the, in the business to business, the B2B, you also need to stay innovate, sorry, innovative. And that might be things like, um, you know, how you communicate with your franchisees or um, maybe taking the brand to a whole new level in the, the bigger business of things. So the exponential growth tip for today is to understand if you're thinking of franchising or you've started franchising, to really wrap your head around the separation of those two things. Of course, there's a lot of cross over as well, um, core values, uh, purpose, all those things should cross over. But at the end of the day, you have to be clear that you're still, you're going to be running this business probably with a manager or something, but also um, running a bigger company of that is responsible to its franchisees. So hopefully that's helpful. And if it gets your wheels turning, I'd love to help explain this a little bit more or discuss this with you. If you're an experienced, um, established franchisor, I'd love to hear your thoughts on having gone through that yourself. Um, maybe throw some comments below or um, email me or whatever uh, way is best for you. Um, so yes, I'd love to touch base, hear about what your, your challenges are with that and uh, work through it together. So you can always email me at Angela at AngelaCote.com. But until then, don't forget to go be awesome.